Hello and welcome to part two of how to create a jQuery modal pop-up. Uh, I appreciate all the feedback that you gave me in part one. Um, there was a lot of requests on how to do a um, an Ajax uh, form from within the modal pop-up. So part two will be dedicated to that. So let's uh, get started here. To begin, let's clean up all our uh, style sheet references a bit and uh, reference the bundles that we have instead. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a, another style render for the um, jQuery themes from the themes uh, base CSS folder. And then uh, here I will add jQuery uh, uh, UE and uh, validation uh, bundles. You can find all of these, uh, by the way, in the bundle configuration file, which we have right here. So instead of hard coding them each, uh, it automatically includes them all. And here is the jQuery themes base um, bundle, which I've now added. So that cleans up our uh, uh, function a bit. And uh, we no longer need this guy here. So uh, let's uh, run this and see where we stand um, as of right now. Okay, great. Uh, so this is pretty much where we left off last time. Um, which is great. So now uh, what we want to do is uh, in the um, index file um, right here, we want to replace this text with a uh, form uh, which um, will be shown inside the modal pop-up. Now to do this, um, I've prepared um, a, a code segment here instead of um, typing everything uh, from scratch, I will uh, just copy and paste my uh, code uh, from my clipboard um, over and then I'll explain uh, what everything is. So here we have um, what I've added is uh, just a standard uh, ASP.NET MVC form which uh, uses the index action of the home controller and it posts the value um, to that uh, controller. Of course, we haven't created that uh, controller action yet, so let's go over there now and uh, create the um, action controller. And um, that will be something along this line right here. So um, I will be passing an object called a person to this um, controller action uh, of type HTTP post and I'm returning a partial view because uh, well here let's uh, return a standard view first and then I'll explain why we need a partial view so um, next I'm going to create a class uh, we will call this uh, person and inside of this class um, we will add two properties, uh, well, three maybe, uh, public uh, integer ID and uh, public uh, string first name and public string last name. Okay, that should take care of our um, uh, class, the our model. And now, if I right-click on it, I should be able to resolve it to that uh, model, which I can. Great. So now we've got our model. And uh, well, something else that we're missing um, here inside of the index is the model declaration at the top. Which will be something like this. Well. I believe that's 
still one. So um, just specifying that this page uses the person uh, model uh, class, and um, <clears throat> that way I can take advantage of that uh, here in my code. So all I have here is um, first name, uh, label for first name, uh, text box for first name, and a validation. Uh, label for last name, text box for last name, and validation uh, message for last name. Okay. So uh, with that done, uh, let's save everything and uh, run it to see where we're at now. Okay, so uh, we've got our form here in the modal pop-up, um, and let's see if I um, post here uh, first and last name, submit. It looks like it works. Now, here's why it didn't exactly work the way we wanted it to. What it did is it did a standard uh, post back. So if we put a breakpoint here in the controller, First of all, let's verify that it's hitting this controller. And um, if I post it here, let's hover over uh, the person variable. And yeah, it, it, it did um, pass the information to the controller. And then it continued on and showed me the page again. So let's uh, change things up a bit. Um, first of all, let's get rid of this huge mess to make it a little bit more manageable. And then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a uh, timestamp uh, right here in front of this text here, just so that we can compare um, the time before and after the post. So um, if I restart uh, my application here now, notice I've got uh, 10.32.40 for time uh, a.m. Now, as I type my information in and submit, notice this time right here is going to change when I submit. All right, let me uh, disable the breakpoint uh, real quick so it becomes a bit more obvious. So again, I post this information and it goes from 10.33 a.m. to 10.33.17, right? And as I'm posting here, notice the time is going up, which means every time I post, it does a post back. <clears throat> now, that's not the point of our, um, that's not our goal here. So what we want to do is we want to make this an Ajax form. So let's see how we can do that. Um, the first thing that we have to do is um, let's ch go here in our form that we added and change it slightly from a standard post to an Ajax post. So something like this. So Ajax dot begin form. This is my action, uh, and my Ajax options are my ID is ID. Uh, and on success, I want to call a JavaScript function called on success. And all that does is it will close our modal um, pop up for us when we hit submit. So the rest is exactly the same. So here under layout, uh, what I now have to do is I have to add a function called on success. And I will do that now. something like this. All it does is uh, when Ajax posts to this form, it uh, closes the modal window. So pretty straightforward. And uh, the last thing that we need here, um, this doesn't work with standard views. So what I also have to do is inside of the home controller, I have to change that with um, partial view in order for this to work. If I do a full view, it will not work. Um, so let's uh, run this now and see if 
we get our uh, desired result. So notice the time, 10.35.27 a.m. I open the dialog. I type something here. And I've got a breakpoint in the controller to make sure that it hits it, which it does. And all our data is still here. So I'm going to continue. Notice the time now is still 10.35.27 a.m. So let's uh, repeat this one more time without the breakpoint, now that we know that it's posting um, to the um, action. So I open uh, my form up. I submit, it goes away, and notice it's 10.35.27. And no matter how many times I do this, the page does not refresh. So that is basically what we wanted. I hope um, that you enjoyed this um, uh, video. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions, as always, uh, feel free to post them um, under the comment section. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And uh, if you have any other suggestions for part three, um, please uh, feel free to mention that in the comments as well. Uh, please subscribe to my uh, channel. Have a good day. Goodbye.